close. Close. Hello everyone and welcome back. And we have a character to try out here, which of course is Princess Aurora from Cinderella. I think I've got that right. I might have actually just got that wrong. Do not bully me if I got it wrong. But I'm happy because we're going to be able to jump in and try this character out. Now, I did give this character a very, very brief go in a live stream over the weekend. And she's pretty mad. Now, she's a sign-in character, which means we are going to have little bits of restriction there on actually being able to level her up well. So, obviously, tomorrow we'll actually be able to unlock her, which will be fantastic. But we're going to be a little bit limited. And hopefully soon as well, what we are going to be able to get, hopefully, is the new prize wall. That should start relatively soon. We're halfway through the guild contest at the moment as well. I'm just flying through it. I've got loads of those... Um, tokens to spend so of course everybody if you have got guild tokens make sure you spend them all that's going to get the event up here we go you can see there you go so that's pretty good um, yeah and obviously spending diamonds as well is going to help so just make sure you do that relatively easy keep getting your stamina keep opening your crates boom nice and easy let's go i would have got a few more in here 3,000. there we go so that's spent a fair amount to help the guild there great so that's pushed the guild up a little bit. So, right, let's jump straight into the new character. So I'm 5.3 now. So we're getting there quite slowly. So the new character here is Princess Aurora. And I've already gone over her in the little, all the bits and pieces. I think it was last Tuesday. So it's really cool to see that we can finally have a look at her, see what she's going to be like. So all her animations are obviously clean. The character looks clean. She's got that little cheeky double rainbow that she does. And everything just looks clean. As always, the animators in this game are fantastic, so they always get my praise. So, her main move, which is this one here, which is ridiculous when you activate it, they fly, ooh, they fly the battle removing all debuffs. That's a pretty fantastic move. So, what you need to kind of take in consideration is you've got each of her different fairies. So, let's just jump in and do what I always do when I do these videos, just kind of stupid tests to see how it's going so the hammer has josh you should join my guild it's his personal guild okay the hammer hammer's an absolute godsend guys what guild is he in I've, i'm going off i always go off subject you guys know that if you watch my video chicken ranch the best little guild to get up to no good 80 million total power or decently leveled ward fence. I don't really care. Uh, love it. Leader, busy finger, Eve. They're 14th. And you've got to be over 160. Maybe I might. I might. Maybe it's time to move to a to a new guild. Um, I should probably... I, I have 116 crates. I didn't, didn't even realise. Nah, I, I'll... Um, yeah, I, um, maybe I will actually. The hammer. I'm going to ask him to get me in. I'm going to ask the hammer to get me in. Yes. Get me in. Let's join the hammer's guild, shall we? You will not join a new guild until your request has been accepted. Leaving your guild will start a 24 hour cooldown that may be from herbs oh, and certain rewards during this time. Cool. I'll, I'll do that tomorrow then. Um, I'll I'll do a video tomorrow where I'll open up all my guild crates and then I'll move over to that new guild. Anyway, let's take a look and see what we've got here. So we've got the hammer here, the almighty god who gives me the stupid teams <laughs> because he makes me look bad at this game. So let's see what we've got. I, I want to fight... Um, maybe we start off with a bit of a rubbish team and just drop her in to see what she's actually like. I want to see what her entrance is like. Three fairies come in. Oh, she's got a little scarf on immediately started by Tigger. What's that going on at the bottom left of the screen? She missed. So 61,000 damage. She fires out the little like bullets and they just track onto people. So she doesn't have a particularly fast attack speed. It's a very, very minimal attack. It doesn't actually really look that cool. So you can just see that little sort of bullet just sort of flies over. Not the best looking attack, but it's pretty cool. Just whoosh, doing loads of damage. Okay, so, oh my goodness. That is a ridiculous team someone's got there. Okay, let's go back to... Um, 
Okay, so we've got the flower guy here. His, his team's a little bit lower. So what I'll do is I'll pin him against some towards the bottom here. So I'll put him against this team here because I, I want to see if she can actually survive a few hits from Zeus at the start of the battle. So she's swagging in. Minus 7 million damage. Right, let's see how much. Now, I know she's stunned, but I want to see how much health she's got. Ooh, she took a lot of hits then. How much health did she have? Okay, so her health. 333 million. She's not even a tank. That is a stupid amount of health that she's got there. Okay, so let's do one which doesn't have a character that can stun in. Um, I think it was... Was it Beast doing the stun? No, it was... Um, I think it was Draco doing the stuns. So let's put against this team here. Swagging in, swagging in. Lightning. Oh no, it's, it's um... Is it Joy doing the stun? I haven't seen Joy in a team for ages. Every single one of this guy's teams. <laughs> They're just like counter... Um, I'm being told off for not doing war. Don't don't look at that. <laughs> uh, Making me look bad. Okay, so where's the hammer gone, guys? I've I've lost a plot in today's video. I've already lost the plot. I just want some easy teams. It's it's. <laughs> It's gone downhill straight away. It has really gone downhill. Ah, oh, she's um, she obviously is quite good against Kermit because she can knock off their skill. <laughs> Look at that! He just absolutely spammed me Kermit a million times. Zombie, where's? See, this is what annoys me. Oh, for goodness sake, my my chats just disappear. I should be more prepared for these videos, really, shouldn't I? I thought we'd have a nice one. We just pop on, smash through a few people, and we're laughing. Okay, all of these teams that are at the top here. Oh, let's do a 1v1 against Duck and Bunny. Can she survive this? Can she survive this swags in? So now this is a bit of a fairer battle. Boom. What? What? She just did 26 million damage from her default attack. That, that's mental. That's absolutely ridiculous. 26 million damage from a normal attack. Let's put her against a bit more of a ridiculous team here. There's no way she should survive this. No way at all. In the hits though. Shield from the fairy. Special. The, the debuff knock. Did you guys just see that? 163 million damage. 163. She sent all the fairies out. Hang on a minute. 200. Look at that. That's ridiculous damage. Let's rerun that. I'm just going to take it off. So what we're seeing here, look. Normal hit. 37 million damage. 41 million damage. Fairy comes out, slaps him, 153 million damage, and snared him. Red Fairy comes out, gives her shield. Special, they all fly through, all of the, all of the buffs have gone. Special, all fly through, everybody's dead. So, again, let's just watch that again, because the biggest takeaway on this character is obviously the debuff removal. Sorry, the buff removal from the enemy team, so debuffing the buff, I guess you could say. So here we go. She comes in, she's doing her normal hits. 37 million damage. 41 million damage. Snared, 153 million damage. Shield, and then a special comes out and look at all the buffs just disappear off everybody there. So now they've lost all their ability to heal and do everything and then a huge amount of damage comes from the free fairies. So she is actually quite a unique character. I'm more excited for the tank. Obviously like I explained before because he gets his armor up and his moves just like absolutely mental. But that is pretty chaotic there. Just absolutely flying through everybody dealing so much damage so let's just bounce into this here let's claim all of that okay great so so she's doing a lot of damage so what is her biggest takeaway here so of course what we were seeing here is 
One uh, fairy one, two, and three fly over the battleborn, removing all buffs and dealing fantastic damage. So it removed all of those. So that's defense buff, health buffs, um, attack buffs, speed attack, every single buff you can think of, and then snaps them for a huge amount of damage as well. So because all the buffs are coming off, that's removing armor and things like that. So mad. So that's going to be a huge hit to basically everybody. So I really like that move. It also silences and applies free stacks of weakness, which is pretty ridiculous. So that's one other thing. So um, this is one here. Flora, Flora cleanses aura and grants her shield. So we saw that one. The shield was quite a lot. Gave her a lot of defense and she was able to really take a few hits. Then we had fires and magic bolts. We saw this one. It did about 153 million damage and then snared them and increased their attack and decreases their attack speed. So that's very, very good as well. And that was doing a huge amount of damage. So that's a very good move as well. So this one here, best that now deals bonus fantastic damage, removes two buffs from each enemy hit. Oh, also applies 20% reality decrease on enemies hit. Okay, so just that basically just mashes up all of the debuffs that she's applying to everybody just off of basic attacks, which is pretty crazy. And then we've got this one here. So she... Her basic attacks now target the enemy with the most buffs. Very helpful now also deals fantastic damage over 10 seconds for every 4 buffs. Removed by her, she heals that ally missing the most HP. So basically everything she does is pretty ridiculous. Now I never actually jumped in and looked at her friendship list when I was doing initial reviews. So let's do that to round the video up and I'll let you know which one I personally think is the best. So... Reality to, okay, that's nice. Reality can increase health and defense and armor. So max HP. So we were actually getting armor increased and max HP increased on that. That's pretty good. When she removes six buffs from the enemy team, she heals for 8% of max HP. Now, considering her basic attack removes buffs and her special removes buffs, she's most likely going to be doing that every single time you activate a special. So what that's going to add to our active skill is actually healing. Because majority of the time, the, the enemy team will always have more than six buffs on them. Because the amount of buffs you do on this game is stupid. So it makes her a very, very good counter for Kermit. So I would say the she's probably the biggest counter for Kermit. And I mean, that's just what it is. I would be shocked if another character comes out who's, who's as powerful as her to counter off buffs. So if you're in PvP and you see an enemy team pick Kermit, you pick her. Because obviously Kermit's going to knock all the buffs over to everybody, make everyone invisible, for example. The same with um, the new character that come out, Scar. What's his name? The other um, lion, whatever his name is, um, he turns the team invisible. So you could use that and it would knock off that invisible buff and bring them back and do loads of damage as well so then kermit could strum his guitar and give everyone invincibility she'd use that and knock off all the debuffs so that's what you've got to be thinking about is that she's a fantastic character for moving buffs then once she removes buffs she heals there so that's really playing to her strength that friendship badge now extra reality decreased for very helpful enemies lose armor while they're snared i'm not fussed with that one at all absolutely not fussed with that one if you're going for a friendship one it's got to be that one. She's a pretty cool character. You saw that she can basically kill everybody in one hit of her special. So I want you guys to comment down below. Have you tested her out? What do you think of her? Now, I guess before we go, we need to see if she can... <laughs> can she survive a 40 million King Louis? Can the hammer... Is she going to stand there? <gasps> 46 million. 46 million. She doesn't move. She's taken down King Louis. And on that note... On that bombshell, she's king. She's king, king Kui, Louis.